January 12th, Pastor is saying to us, His love towards us. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Contrary to what many think, it doesn't take much to be born again. All that's required is to come into Christ. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's all the sinner needs to do. Once the sinner comes into Christ, suddenly, all things are passed away. The Bible doesn't say he or she should try to change the old things. God isn't waiting for sinners to change their old ways before coming to him. If they could do that themselves, they wouldn't need Jesus. Romans chapter 5 verse 10 says, For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. How gracious the Lord is. We were reconciled to him at a time we didn't even know him, while we were still enemies. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 to 5 says, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. He loved us even when we were dead in sin. But God commandeth his love towards us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Romans chapter 4 verses 4 to 5 shows us how this happened. It says, Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Our God justifies the ungodly. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19 says, To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. This is the gospel. It's about Christ Jesus and his great love for all humanity. It's about the eternal life and righteousness that he's freely made available to all, which becomes a vital reality in the life of the one who accepts this truth by confessing the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for the unsaved around the world, declaring open channels for the gospel to reach and impact them today Every resistance is broken, and they receive the truth with understanding, and embrace your word for their salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 19 to 20, and Colossians chapter 1, verses 21 to 22. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 to 38, and Genesis chapters 29 to 30. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 5 verses 31 to 40 and Genesis chapter 12. Rhapsody of reality.